Welcome to Eaton Power Quality's How To Series. In this video, you will learn how to integrate Eaton's Intelligent Power Manager software with your VMware vCenter server. The linkage will allow IPM to trigger a graceful shutdown of your vCenter environment during a power event. The following steps will guide you through the integration process. Step 1. Enabling and adding infrastructure connectors. Step 2. Configuring and testing maintenance and shutdown configurations. Before we begin, ensure that you have the following prerequisites complete. Most recent versions of IPM and VMware vCenter server installed and functional. Eaton UPS is present with a network interface card configured for your environment. Eaton UPS is set up as a node and displayed on the IPM node list. If you have any questions concerning IPM setup or installation, then refer to the video entitled Intelligent Power Manager Basics. Step 1. Enabling and adding infrastructure connectors. We will start by navigating to the IPM System Settings menu in order to enable the Infrastructure Connectors module. Launch Intelligent Power Manager. Once open, locate and expand the Settings folder. Click on the option labeled System. The Systems option will open on the right-hand side of the page. Locate and click on the option entitled Edit Modules Setting. Once the Edit Modules setting menu opens, place a check mark beside the option entitled Infrastructure Connectors. Click Save. At this point, we will have added the Infrastructure Connectors. Now we will go through the steps to add the connector. Locate and click on the option entitled Infrastructure Connectors. Once the menu opens on the right hand side of the page, select the option entitled Add a Connector. We will begin with a product selection. Please note that for the purpose of this how-to video, we will use the option entitled New VMware vCenter. There will be multiple options available, so choose the best option for your environment. Also note that the New VMware vCenter connector requires Java Runtime environment to be installed. Locate hostname or IP address. Enter the vCenter server hostname or IP address. Note. If entering the hostname, a fully qualified domain name is required. Next, specify the vCenter port. The default will be 443. Enter the username and password for a domain account with administrator access to the vCenter server. Please note, a domain account is being used for a user named IPM. This account is only used for this linkage and allows for visibility within the vCenter logs. In order to enable both the Eaton tab in the vSphere desktop client and the Eaton tiles on the vSphere web client, a plugin will need to be installed. Click Save. You will be directed to the Infrastructure Connectors module while IPM conducts the installation and verification process for the newly added connector. Once all of the connection state icon badges turn green, the installation and verification process will be complete. You will now have access to Intelligent Power Management from your vCenter vSphere client. If you experience any issues during this step, please contact the Power Quality directly at 800-356-5737, option 2, option 5, option 1 for troubleshooting. Step 2. Configuring Maintenance and Shutdown Configurations Once the UPS supporting the selected ESXi host experiences a power event, IPM will trigger a pre-configured mode of escalation which will place the host in the maintenance mode or shutdown mode. We will review and demonstrate how to set up the parameters for three escalation configurations. 1. Maintenance configuration. 2. Shutdown configuration. 3. Maintenance shutdown combo configuration. We will begin by reviewing the maintenance configuration. Once the UPS supporting the selected ESXi host experiences a power event, IPM will trigger maintenance mode. As maintenance mode initiates, VMware's vMotion tool will migrate all of the virtual machines onto the other available ESXi hosts. In order to set the parameters, start from the IPM View screen. Select the folder titled Management and click on the option for Node Settings. Choose the VMware ESXi host that you would like to configure. Once selected, the Node Configuration pane will open to the far right of the screen. By clicking the pencil icon, you will activate the ability to edit the parameters. The parameters selected will enable IPM to take action and trigger maintenance mode. We will discuss each only as needed per the specific shutdown configuration. The maintenance configuration will need the following parameters set. 
Power Source. Select the IP address of the UPS which powers your host. Load Segment. Designate the output receptacle which the host node is connected to the UPS. Typically, this will be the master segment. Remote Maintenance. Enable Remote Maintenance. Enable this option to grant IPM permission to trigger the maintenance mode and migrate VMs from the selected host to the other available hosts. Maintenance Timer. Enter an amount of time in seconds which will dictate the length of time IPM will delay sending the signal to enter maintenance mode and begin migrating virtual machines from the designated host. Click Apply to activate the settings. In order to rename the specific parameter configuration created for the maintenance setting, click on the drop-down menu beside Configurations, located at the top right of the pane. Select the option Rename Configuration. Once the pop-up box opens, enter your desired name for the labeling configuration. Click Save. The configuration will be saved within the Node Configuration drop-down menu. Once a shutdown setting configuration has been created or modified, an icon will appear in the shape of a not equal sign. The symbol illustrates that the new configuration isn't synchronized with the node. You will need to click on the Synchronize button and confirmation box as shown. The following is a demonstration of the maintenance mode configuration activated. The UPS supporting the host ESXi server has encountered a power event and the timer has met the threshold. A warning icon will appear beside the affected host as maintenance mode is activated. The virtual machines located on the host will begin to migrate to the other available host to remain active. As the VMs complete their migration, they are removed from the affected host. For example, let's watch the VM titled ACD-6. Once the migration is completed, you can see it disappear from the host folder. The result of the host being placed in maintenance mode shows an empty host folder with the VMs migrated into available hosts. VMs will automatically migrate back onto the host once the power event has been resolved. Now we will view the pane for the vSphere web client. The summary shown illustrates that there are not any errors present. The web client will not refresh on its own, so you must refresh the screen in order to view the changes. Once refreshed, the power source will display the warning by changing the 0 to a 1 in the warning column. There will also be a warning displayed stating, Host GPS power has failed. As a power event is resolved, you can see the summary return to an error-free state by refreshing the web browser. 2. Shutdown Configuration Next, we will review the shutdown configuration. Once the UPS supporting the selected ESXi host experiences a power event, IPM will trigger the shutdown of the designated host. In order to set the parameters, start from the IPM view screen. Select the folder titled Management and click on the option for node settings. Choose the VM where ESXi host that you would like to configure. Once selected, the node configuration pane will open to the far right of the screen. Click on the pencil icon beside the option titled Shutdown Settings. The Shutdown Settings Configuration text box will appear. The parameters selected will enable IPM to take action with the designated escalation mode. We will discuss each parameter function only as needed per the specific shutdown configuration. Power Source. Select the IP address on the UPS which powers your host. Load Segment. Designate the output receptacle which the host node is connected to the UPS. Typically, this will be the master segment. Master Shutdown Duration Enter an amount of time in seconds which will dictate the length of time the host will have to complete its entire shutdown. The virtual machines will shut down first and then the host. Once the designated time expires, the UPS load segment will de-energize. Master Shutdown After Value Enter an amount of time in seconds which will dictate the length of time the IPM will have before it triggers the shutdown of the host. Remote Shutdown Enable this option in order to grant IPM permission to trigger the host to shut down. Remote shutdown of the virtual machines. This option is only used in a high availability cluster. When enabled, IPM will shut down the guest VMs before shutting down the host. Click Apply to activate the settings. Rename the configuration. Click Save. The configuration will be saved within the Node Configuration drop-down menu. The last step will be to synchronize the setting to the node. This will be accomplished by clicking on the Synchronize button and confirmation box as shown.
The following is a demonstration of the shutdown configuration. The UPS supporting the host ESXi server has encountered a power event and the timer has met the threshold. Within vCenter, a warning icon will appear beside the host and the affected host will enter shutdown mode. As you can see on the vCenter desktop pane, the virtual machines located on the host will initiate shutdown mode first. As the VMs complete their shutdown, you can see their state changed to display powered off. Once all of the VMs are shut down, the host will complete the shutdown procedure. This action will be identified by host and VMs becoming italicized and changing in color from black to light gray. Three, maintenance shutdown combo configuration. The last mode of escalation we will review will be the maintenance shutdown combo configuration. Once the UPS supporting the selected ESXi host experiences a power event, IPM will trigger the maintenance mode. Once all of the VMs have been migrated into other available hosts, the shutdown mode will be initiated. In order to set the parameters, start from the IPM view screen. Select the folder titled Management and click on the option for Node Settings. Choose the VM where ESXi host that you would like to configure. Once selected, the Node Configuration pane will open to the far right of the screen. Click on the pencil icon beside the option titled Shutdown Settings. The Shutdown Settings Configuration text box will appear. The parameters selected will enable IPM to take action and trigger maintenance mode. We will discuss each only as needed per the specific shutdown configuration. The Maintenance Shutdown Combo configuration will need the following parameters set. Power Source Select an IP address of the UPS which powers your host. Load Segment Designate the output receptacle which the host node is connected to the UPS. Typically, this will be the master segment. Master Shutdown Duration Enter the maximum amount of time in seconds needed for the host to fully complete the migration and shutdown process with vMotion. The virtual machines will shut down first and then the host. Once the designated time expires, the UPS load segment will de-energize. Master Shutdown After Value Enter an amount of time in seconds which will dictate the length of time the IPM will have before it triggers the shutdown of the host. Remote Maintenance Enable Remote Maintenance. Enable this option to grant IPM permission to trigger the maintenance mode and migrate VMs from the selected host to the other available hosts. Maintenance Timer. Enter an amount of time in seconds which will dictate the length of time IPM will delay sending the signal to enter maintenance mode and begin migrating virtual machines from the designated host. Remote Shutdown. Enable this option in order to grant IPM permission to trigger the host to shut down. Remote shutdown of the virtual machines. This option is only used in a high availability cluster. When enabled, IPM will shut down the guest VMs before shutting down the host. Click Apply to activate the settings. Rename the configuration. Click Save. The configuration will be saved within the Node Configuration drop down menu. The last step will be to synchronize the setting to the node. The following is a demonstration of the maintenance shutdown configuration. The UPS supporting the host ESXi server has encountered a power event and the timer has met the timer threshold. Within vCenter, a warning icon will appear beside the host and the affected host will enter maintenance mode. As you can see on the vCenter desktop pane, the virtual machines located on the host will begin to migrate to other available hosts in order to remain active. As the VMs complete their migration, you can see them be removed from the affected host. Once all of the VMs have been migrated into other available hosts, the shutdown mode will be initiated for the affected host. As the shutdown procedure is completed, the host will become italicized and changed in color from black to light gray. In this video, we have reviewed enabling and adding infrastructure connectors as well as configuring three modes of escalation to be utilized during a power event. For more information, please visit our website at eaton.com slash powerquality.